Hello everyone. There is a new tool added in Busy Toolkit, the Intersect Curves tool. I'll quickly go over the usage of this tool in this video. So let me create a couple of curves with some intersection points. And with the default options, I'll click Intersect Curves. So you'll see that at the intersection points, the empties are inserted. If I choose the option, let's say insert points and click intersect curves, then you will see that at the intersection, a new Bezier point is added in both the curves. The next option is cut. With this option, you can split the curves at the intersection points. And lastly, we have mark with Bezier points. This will create Bezier point objects at the intersection. And these points are within a collection. So if I select all these points, for example, I can do operations like joining these points using the other tool. You can use the tool with more than two curves as well. So let me add another curve in the form of text. This works with 2D as well as 3D curves. If I now simply say cut, then all the curves will be cut at the intersection points. And there is also an option in case of cut and insert points that allows you to use the active curve as the operating object. So if I check this option only non-active, then the operation will be performed only on the non-active selected curves and the active curve will not undergo any change. Also the intersection points of the non-active curves among each other will not be taken into consideration. The proximity option allows you to define the distance between the points that should be considered as overlapping for determining the intersection. In most of the cases, the default value should be good enough. But if the curves are too small or too large, then you may have to adjust this value. Finally, you can also use this in 3D space. For example, let me create a plane, rotate on X axis and create some curves on this plane. I will hide this plane. These two curves are in 3D space. They are not parallel to any standard plane. And yet I can perform the intersect operations on these curves. That's it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment on this video. Thank you very much.